federal agents were able to reach some of their conclusions after recreating the scene. WFMZ's Jamie Stover spoke with a lead agent about how the investigation evolved. She's joining us in the studio with more on that tonight. Wendy, there were bomb experts, chemists, elite canines that worked to piece it all together. Then a letter straight from the bomb creator tied up any loose strings. <laughs> That force is going out in a 360 degree all directions. So anything that's around it's going to be thrown. Jacob Schmoyer's homemade bomb scattered debris and carnage. It took three lives, damaged buildings and cars. But the powerful blast didn't destroy everything. A lot of evidence survives the blast. Though torn to shreds, ATF agents were able to piece together the car the bomb detonated in. The fragments were relocated to a nearby airport hangar so experts could scope it out in a controlled setting. You get a better picture of it. You could actually see the seat of the blast where, the, where, where we have determined the device was located in the vehicle. It was in the center console. Highly specialized canines helped pinpoint that. Our dogs will sit, yeah, our, our labs will sit when they locate some explosive material. The ATF also figured out what the explosive material was, but they aren't divulging that detail. They got added confirmation when a note dated the day of the blast showed up at the Allentown Police Department days later. He was descriptive about um, the materials he used in the device. The ATF says there were four letters from Schmoyer, one to police, three to family. They will now be tested to verify handwriting. Rob.